what do I do? What am I doing wrong? What am I saying that's wrong? What do I say? So today, I thought I would shoot a little video called The Seven Deadly Conversation Mistakes Men Make With Women. Deadly conversation mistake number one, not assuming rapport. I've made these mistakes in the past. My clients, my buddies make these mistakes all the time. And that first one is not assuming rapport. No matter what's happened in the past with your spouse or your girlfriend, or if this is, this is a new woman you just met, you want to assume that everything is cool between the two of you. Leave everything that's happened in the past or this morning with your spouse or your girlfriend behind. Put it on the shelf for a moment and just assume everything is cool. Your body language, the way you're talking, assume things are good between the two of you. Or if you're just meeting a new woman, assume that things are good. Some say to assume that you're friends, it's more of like, hey, everything's good between the two of us. That's the frame that you want to have. So here's a couple of examples. The first one is if you've never met this girl before. So, hi, Sarah, good to meet you. Do you spell Sarah with or without an H? This is a great way to visualize how to spell their name in your mind. Whenever I meet a new person, a new business colleague, or I'm introduced to a new friend of a friend, I have a hard time remembering people's names. So I like to ask them how to spell it. And with something like Sarah, you know, show that you're a bit calibrated and Sarah is spelled with or not a, without an H. You don't just say, oh, oh, Sarah, how do you spell Sarah? I mean, that's a little weird, right? So. I know that I'm picturing in my mind, does it, does it or does not have an H, right? I've never had anybody have a problem with this. Actually, they think it's kind of engaging. Oh, you're trying to learn my name, right? My name's Jeff. I don't spell it G-off. It's J-E-F-F, -F, you know, like the normal way, if they ask, but I don't offer that unless they ask. Right? The second example here is if it's your spouse or your girlfriend, if you had a bad morning or there's a fight four days ago or whatever's going on, assume things are cool. That's the frame that you want to have. So, hey, sweetheart, it's good to see you. Just like you would if things are cool. The next point is stand at an appropriate distance and an angle from these women, you know, including your spouse, and make appropriate eye contact. If you're being standoffish with your spouse, if you're looking down, if you're being submissive, that's a problem, all right? Have an appropriate frame. If you just met this woman, Many women want you to stand off. They're going to feel most comfortable if you stand at an angle to them. If you stand straight on with a woman, a lot of times it comes across as confrontational or, you know, you don't know what's going on in their life or where their personal bubble is. So stand at an appropriate distance and be aware of that and make good eye contact, right? And the last point for this, number one, this conversation mistake, you got to notice where she's at emotionally. And then you want to be one level higher than she is. Women are emotional creatures. You want to notice and connect at where she's at and be one level higher than her. You want to come across as fun and positive and optimistic. And the same goes with your spouse. If you know that she's going through something really tough or obviously she walks in and something's wrong, okay, you don't want to be bouncing off the walls and jolly and happy that's going to come across as really uncalibrated and probably pretty annoying i think we've all seen that kind of person who's just the happiest damn person in the room and if you're having a bad day it's like what's going on man that's so that's just really annoying notice where they are look at their body language and be one level higher than them in optimism in energy and that's where you want to start the conversation with them join me next time for video number two when we talk about the second deadly conversation mistake men make with women. I'ma tell you about a woman whose heart is sunshine, whose body burn hot. I'ma tell you about a woman whose cold is tundra with some frozen eyes. I can tell by the way she moves that she cares and it's lovely too.